Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Com and welcome to a City Skylines tutorial. Today I want to show you my design for a compact urban sunken highway as you can see here on the screen. Uh, the special feature of this thing is that it functions as a highway and an avenue at the same time. And the size of this thing is completely zonable. Of course you need some uh, items from the workshop. Uh, the required mods are the Move It mod, Key Anarchy, Sharp Junction Angles, Fine Road Heights and extra landscaping tools. Uh, note here that the Terraform tool 0.9 does not have the features needed for this, so unfortunately you can't use this one. Uh, I highly recommend you to download a network extension and network skins as this will provide you with uh, some more features that are not completely necessary, but uh, they look much better. So, uh, the links for all those mods are in the description and yeah, let's start the tutorial itself. First of all, you want to make a road vertically to the highway you want to do. Then you select ground mode in the fine road tool and lower the elevation to minus 9 meters. Then you make two normal roads parallel to each other with a one unit gap, like this plate here. Please note that all roads should have the same length, this makes it better for planning. Anyway, you take the concrete roads from network extension and build them one unit away from the sunken roads, just like here. Then you activate no collision by pressing Ctrl A and take a key and build it between the sunken and the concrete roads. Now you can upgrade the sunken roads to highways. Remember to set a uh, ground mode again with minus 9 meter. And you can turn off the streetlights with uh, network skins because it would look a bit weird with the uh, streetlights. Um, I prefer to use the 4 lane highway uh, rather than the 3 way highway because it has a higher capacity. And if you wonder what those arrows are. These are from the mod One Way Streets arrow, you can download it uh, via the link in the description. I just put it in here because it makes it easier to show you what I'm doing here. Now the trick of this special thing. Uh, take a two tile wide one way road, I prefer the three or four lane road because the bridge is uh, much uh, wider. Then uh, select elevated modes and put them in like this they should have a three tile gap in between each other. Now, as you can see, the key overlaps the four lane road and this does not look very nice. So uh, you have to lower the key so it is just above the concrete road as a first step. So to do that you either press M or the icon next to the bulldozer tool and select the node of the key which is the big circle. Then you press page down until the key is barely visible and you do that with all the nodes of the key. So now that you have done that, you we raise the nodes of the four lane avenue until the key is not anymore visible. The next thing to do is uh, to hide the concrete road under the key. So you take a node and move it around using your arrow keys. And note that the movement is based on directions and you have to figure out uh, how your directions are. You can also get smaller increments when moving it around uh, while pressing ALT. So 
So the last thing to do is uh, to upgrade the grid. So for that to do you have to upgrade the concrete road to any type of road and change it back to concrete again. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, the first stretch of urban sunken highway. This was the easy part and now to the hard bit. So Nick, the next part of this video is intersections. Pretty easy you may think, but uh, well as this time lapse shows you, I had severe problems with this and I had to figure out how to fix it. So now, if uh, you get uh, an ab abomination like uh, I got here, you have to delete the four lane avenue and reconnect everything. And maybe you should try to not delete the sunken highway because this was a pain in the ass to fix because you have to get to ground mode and minus nine meters again and fix this thing up. So now that this is done, you may be asking yourself, why is this road on the left elevated? We have the ground mode. And uh, if you activate ground mode, this thing will happen. As you can see that black shadow, I have no idea why this is there, but it is there. And it is always on one side. So either you have um, on one side, you have uh, elevated road like here and on the other side ground road. But this looks a bit uh, weird. Or you have both elevated. So now you have an intersection on the top road. And uh, you can also do this with uh, the six lane road if you want to do so. And now the next part is the most tedious one, I guarantee it. So for the last part I want to show you how to make on and off ramps from the highway to the, to the road above. So first of all you have to uh, make a box with the concrete road, it should be about uh, 30 units long. Now we have to move the notes from the key all the way down to this concrete road. And uh, don't uh, bother if uh, the key notes don't line up with uh, the concrete road, because we can fix that later. So the last part in the sped up footage was uh, me uh, moving the first node and uh, I sh can show you how it's done. You just take the node and uh, move it until it's at the destination point and uh, this is basically all the magic in it. Now you have to connect the two hidden concrete roads and to avoid a bending road between them you can simply press uh, Ctrl B to turn off bending. Now you can delete the old concrete road and hide the connection as good as you can under the key. So now is the moment why you need the extra terraform tool because the other one does not support this. You have to take the uh, height of the normal ground and subtract 9 meters from it by subtracting 9 meters from the uh, digit on the top of uh, this special field. Yeah, here you can see it, I subtract 9 meters from it. Very 
difficult calculation. You have to do this because uh, technically the sunken highway, uh, how we placed it, uh, is uh, considered by the game as a normal road on normal height. It is just rendered like a sunken highway and behaves like it. So, now you create an intersection, preferably with a 4 lane or 6 lane road, in the middle of this construction. Now you have to delete the uh, 4 lane one way road and also the hidden concrete road, because otherwise the on and off ramps would snap to them. Unless you have a mod, but I don't know which mod you can use for this. Now you have to select ground mode uh, with the on and off ramps and check the straight slope box and uh, make a slope from uh, 9 meters to uh, 1 meter if you want to do so. And here again the uh, on and off ramp will uh, try to stick to the uh, upper road so you have to delete this part too to make this happen, but otherwise it's pretty straightforward, you just make an on and off ramp. So now you have made one fourth of this thing. To do the other, other things just uh, repeat and make the same again. Of course you have to connect those two, but this should be pretty straightforward. Now there's just one problem left. As you can see, uh, this does not really look uh, nice with the key, so you have to move the concrete road uh, because of uh, how the uh, land will terraform around roads. You just have to move it a bit outward, not too much, just to hide the imperfections. So now we are basically done with uh, this intersection and uh, as you can see if you look pretty closely you can see uh, the land how it is uh, not very nice from uh, the underground but I have a solution for this but it is very tedious and you're not gonna see it uh, so much uh, so I just roll it on fast mode. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the finished product and uh, just a quick thing that I did not do in this tutorial is curves and for curves you just have to make everything uh, like in the straight line but uh, with the curve too so it, it's very easy to do if you have figured it out. So I hope you have liked this tutorial, if you want to see more of them then please suggest some of them and uh, like it if you have liked it and uh, if you want to see more of my channel in general then you can subscribe thank you very much and goodbye